Hello, this is uh, Joe Cornelia. I have not been to one of these for a while, so I have no idea what's going on here. Pure Gaji Handbook UK Edition. Okay, that's that's what I represent. Um, there's uh, Charlie is there in, in red. Charlotte, well, she's sort of there. You see her moving through the thing left, right. Uh, Lisa's there, and Briley is there. So this is actually the, the pedagogy reunion with Briley from P2PU fall mm -hmm. semester 2010, I think. We all were hanging out in the P2PU forum. So uh, this is the first time I think I've talked live with Briley, so maybe we can do an intro. And um, Briley needs to uh, activate her microphone, I think, or... Um, I'm going to turn off my camera, but I'll just say hi, and I'll be right back as soon as I get my quad espresso. Okay. So, Riley, where are you located on Earth? And are you in Germany? You're in Finland. Okay, yeah, your mic is very quiet, though. He's still got a um, uh, uh, muted. She's muted. E. E. I think you'll learn as you hear his voice. Um, okay, yeah, it, you're not muted, but very quiet when when you talk. Anyway, try again next time, like right into the mic, maybe. There, yes, it's sounding good. Maybe. Yeah, I hear whispers of you, but yeah, maybe there's just a microphone level or something. Anyway, so um, <clears throat> I'm here because we've got version three of the handbook ready to go out the door, and I'm I'm eager to get it out the door. Um, Charlie, what do you think about that? Um, I mean, if it's ready to go, it's ready to go. I guess I hadn't really, I haven't looked at it since you since we met. Um, I mean, we're, uh, I mean, I was just, we're still going to do some more. Paul and I made some changes to the workbook, but I could still use a little more love. Um, but at the same time, I mean, we said we are going to have that tenure first. It's ready to go. It's ready to go. Well, it's it's not quite really ready to go. It's, if you can hear me, it's sort of ready. It's getting closer to ready to go. So I'll screen share it, and then you'll see where it's at right now. Um, okay. so it, there's some things about it that are better than version 2, that's for sure. So we've got, we've got more contributors, that's always good. Uh, reconstituted with the editorial board and managing editors, um, but it's still public domain. We don't really have a cover, so I don't know if Amanda's going to make the cover or if we're going to do that from someone else or what, so that's, that's going to have to change. When we talked um, last time, I said like what we, like the February for the handbook schedule, and she was yeah. interested in that. Yeah. Um, good. We should remind her. Uh, I know she doesn't want to do it like it's a, a gig work, so she's got to wait for the muse to, but we need to remind her that she's inspired, I guess. Um, okay, so then there's a table of contents, which I've artfully put it on two pages. I think I, I removed a couple of chapters that were no longer thrilling me, including some I think that I wrote, so it's a little bit more streamlined. Um, but yeah, it fits on the table of contents, nicely fits on two pages. Um, there's this foreword from Howard, which is unchanged. Now here's something for, I was thinking you guys, Charlie and Charlotte, could uh, do this preface to the third edition that you mentioned. I think that's a good idea, especially because the foreword's a little out of date. Like, we might just check things like how many tweets mention puregadi.org, and just, I don't know, if we're going to want to preface the third edition, that's something we could talk about now. Then, <clears throat> I wrote this new first page. Uh, I definitely need a second and third opinion on that, that text because it's probably a little bit weird, you know, traces of Joe, Joe-isms throughout, so that needs to be taken away. <laughs> but then, after that, then we hit this thing, Welcome to the Pure Gaji Workbook, which this page one is just meant to introduce that. And I think that's great. There's a lot more energy, a lot more fun, a lot more like readability than our previous intro. So welcome is good. What are uh, those letters? Where? Those. Oh, oh. These, Paola, Lisa, oh. and Dorotea. 
Okay. So they're introduced here, and then then again here, and then they and they go just by initial here. They uh, look a little strange, kind of sitting out there. Can you um, uh, do a drop cap? I'll, I'll do it. Maybe. Yeah. Probably. Okay. Um. So basically goes on and on through the intro stuff. There's this exercise from Doug, which is great. And then this, this thing could stand on its own, but after that, after we're done with this thing that could stand on its own, we get to chapter two, which is chapter summaries of the rest of the book. And again, not a whole lot maybe has changed except for some stuff has been deleted. Um, there's this new SWATS chapter and the pure guide and practice thing with the new patterns is really updated. Um, so I'll, I'll flip, maybe I'll flip all the way back to the beginning. And so so is this all on the uh, .org, org site? Um, not really. This is sort of living in limbo as I've been massaging it into print. I could upload this. I think I've uploaded the PDF to my to my own web page, but the actual content is a bit intermediate. Like I've, it's a relatively recent version of the web page, but I've been massaging it mm -hmm. separately. And where would we find it if we wanted to work on that document? To work on it, I think, is on, on, on... So I sent something to the mailing list, but I think to look, I'll send a link right now, to work, like, change all the latest, latest content is on GitHub. So that would be a labor of, of getting to the GitHub stuff and getting access to that. But I think in terms of, like, working, the PDF is probably enough to say hey, this thing on page such and such is no longer up to my standard. I'd like to suggest this text instead, and I can just move text around. So there's a link to the PDF, which is the first and easiest way to get your hands on it. I mean, it's fine for me to say, but is, yeah. is there any way we could stick with one um, location for files? I mean, we've had our... Uh... And this is what we've been doing for... This is Joe's, Joe's personal server and the GitHub. This is the what. This is how the handbook has come into being the last three years. So I think Joe's. Well, um, can I ask Joe that question? Yeah. Uh, you know, I just uh, we have a lot of stuff on on Google Drive. We have some stuff on Pirate Pad or Hackpad. We have some stuff on PureGudgy.org. Yeah, well, and yeah, I'm just going a little bit nuts. Um, the the short answer likely. is that it, it should go on to the uh, Google Drive, but I didn't put it there. So, yes, it should go there, and I forgot to put it there. Okay. Um, also, it's, you know, we say the latest version is on puregadget.org, but. Um, but yeah, I so understand the, where you what what you're yeah. doing with it now. Yeah. Basically, what I've done. Well, I can't say all I've done is formatting, but effectively, yes, the latest the latest version sort of is on PureGadget.org, and once this thing solidifies, we'll move the text back over there. But one of the things I, I was asking Briley about is, I was wonder I was thinking and wondering would there be a way to reconstitute. Um, um, org to serve it out of a GitHub directory to make it easier to edit, but that's not that's not essential for this process here. Um, but yeah, if you want the absolutely latest exact text that goes into that PDF, here's a link to the directory, and it's all a tech format. So, um, so yeah, I think we need to work out the the last step of last steps of editing protocol, but it's only going to be a process for, uh, you know, probably another couple weeks. So it doesn't need to be the final final thing. But we should, in parallel, yeah, do a kind of more more final or next generation of editing workflow for the version four and, and later. But yeah, but, I'm I'm on GitHub now. It, it opens yeah. fine, but I just it's like. It's like, um, you know, pea soup to my brain. Yeah, don't I, don't worry, don't worry. I, I would say, to my mind, the best thing to do for you and is not necessarily to try to learn a new skill of GitHub in the next two weeks, but work with Charlie on a on a huh? work with Charlie on that intro. Uh, 
Yeah, work with Charlie on the intro, and then there's a couple other things I'll highlight, and you could just put those in Google Docs, and I can copy paste them. So okay. like, there is nothing too major, and then we can do GitHub, kind of properly. Maybe maybe Barley and I can collaborate to, um, yeah, to do that or whomever. I mean, it's it's not going to be a major over. It will be a major overhaul, but I don't think it'll be a lot of work. So let me just highlight the couple okay. other things that I think need attention. Okay. Um, and maybe someone could take notes, but yeah, it was the preface definitely needs attention. Page one or whatever it is, page nine of this PDF needs attention. Um, and, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is a little foggy. Uh, this, this has been revised, so maybe it's worth proofreading it just to check that it still makes sense, the peer guide in practice. What, um, is that chapter three? Yeah, let me just look at the table of contents, actually, because otherwise it's going to really confuse me. Yes, yeah, so that's part three, peer guide gene practice. Um, would be worth having a quick look through to make sure it's reasonably up to date. Um, <clears throat> the one other thing that really needs help um, is I just changed the title of this peer guide gene action syllabus to how to put peer guide gene into action, which is a little silly, maybe. But there's a case study of Piragaji year three, which I think should get a consensus. This was just my rough draft. Um, so you're talking about the table of contents title or, or the actual text? No, no, no. Text? I mean the actual text. It, it's, uh, it's, I'll flip. Let's see. What is this? Page six. Okay. So I know where I am now. Okay. So if you look at, um, it will be page... 249, it looks like it starts here, Piragaji Project Year 3. That's in, in yeah. the PDF? Yeah, in the PDF. And it's just this one short paragraph here. Um, <clears throat> cool. So, uh, so that's a micro thing. And I, I think the other things are, are massaging. Like, I haven't done a whole lot of updates with the... Um, Go to page six with the technology section, for example. I haven't done anything with that. It might be nice to have a new a new section that would describe how to use GitHub, for example, but we don't have one. Um, and so we may just have to wait for another version on that. But um, other than that, I would say those highlights, the preface, um, that, that thing from page 249, and... Yeah, maybe look through the technology section to see if we could update it at all, and um, and the peer guide gene practice section. Everything else, I can't say it's, it hasn't changed, but it hasn't changed by me. It's mm -hmm. mostly just what's on the website, so it should be standard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if you're going to put just a small thing, if you're going to say uh, capitalize action, you should capitalize put. But um, yeah, there's um, a thing. yeah. Yes, there's, I, I think I was subtly. Vaguely aware of that, and then I'll never fix it. So thanks for mentioning. But that. there is kind of a variation on on capitalizing up, uh, throughout it. Um, but yeah, so but that that's my state of the report from technical editing. Anyway, is that it's like I said, basically ready, but it will need a little bit more editorial oversight. It it overall looks. Oh, I'll show you a couple of the look and feel things like this, like we actually have author names sort of pulled out in a way that looks nice this time as opposed to kind of funky like previous. Mm -hmm. so, Did uh, you do the same thing with the uh, links uh, or the, did you the, just delete the links? The links have all been obscured and hidden in this version so, uh -huh. so that may be something where we're gonna we're gonna run into some readability things so we should really someone should read the whole thing and check for that but basically yeah I've, I've gotten rid of the links and plan because to have there may be times in the text, did you kind of pay attention a little bit to when that referred to it in the a surrounding text? It, the, yeah, the, the links are still there in the source code, um, and I can make a, I could make something that will make it really easy to check that. Uh, but, but basically what I was planning to do was make an online index of links. Um, so I, I can volunteer to do that as the next, um, mm -hmm. as the next step because... Um, but like, does it say you know, click on on yeah, the look website? here or all that kind yeah. of stuff? Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I I'll, I'll volunteer to fix that. I mean, I, I don't think there'll be very many, and I, I'll okay. also add to the style guide like, don't write like that because because we're trying to write basically for print. Right. <laughs> um, okay. But so I, I'll I'll happily volunteer to to check that and make a link 
an online supplement. For and the do we say lab. somewhere that uh, that the the, the pyragogy.org will have live live links and yeah, mm -hmm. I, th I, um, I can change this mention like right here on the uh, mm -hmm. where is it? Oh, it doesn't even mention it actually. Yeah, right here, it can say you know below that they can say mm -hmm. pyragogy.org mm -hmm. will have live links. Mm -hmm. Okay, and PubDom it should go first in this edition because it Charlie's doing the lead. Uh, publishing. Okay. Fine. Um, yep, I can fix those. Okay. Well, I can volunteer to. Oh my God! Can I do a whole re read of it? That's a lot. It's a lot. I. I, I mean, I could do that half of it if somebody yeah, else. We don't, need, we don't need one person to read all of it. We just need someone to have read each part of it. So if we all volunteered to, to read two sections or something, then we'd be done quite quickly with that, um, you know, proofreading stuff. Um, so, yep. Yeah. So we need about uh, six proofreaders. Let's see. Well, there's nine sections, so three people could volunteer to read three, for example, um, or just about like that. Okay. But, but we maybe should let, we can, we can probably hold off, I mean, people can get started on that, but let, let's, there's, there's these other outstanding editorial issues that I was highlighting that we should maybe pick, um, aha, here's Paula. Uh, Paula! Hi. Hola. Hi, how are you? Hola. <laughs> uh, domain registrar. I think, well, yes, I don't know who the domain registrar is. We'll have to look. There's someone who has the access, and I can I can get in touch with them. I'll send an email about that. Paula, hi. Hi, hi, um, how are you? Yeah, good. How about you? Good, excellent. I've been just looking through this, this version 3 candidate which is still a pretty early candidate, so I've, I've highlighted the, the main tasks. But, um, Great. But, for example, you'll be happy to know the SWAT case study is in there, so that's here uh, from, from the Palestine. So that's good. Um, and, yeah, there's other, other important things to check, like whenever we do a new version, someone should probably be the, like, have their only task being make sure everyone's name is actually spelled correctly, alphabetized, on the license, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, Paula, you might want to do that yeah. because you could like, like, make sure that I haven't screwed up the alphabetical order. <laughs> <laughs> um, Got to so, get her uh, accents on there. <laughs> yeah. And we have this list here as well of the people. So, you know, like it would be embarrassing to have someone in one list and not in the other or whatever. Okay. So, mm -hmm. like, Worth checking that. Um, um, so let me put the link in again. Yeah, please. Share yeah, the link this is just, in. But yeah, I think we'll shortly recategorize it onto the thingy. Okay, so that, that's my that's my update. Um, but yeah, the, there were about three um, three things that need special attention: the preface, the page one, and then this pyragogy in action year mm -hmm. three. Pyragogy in action year three. Now, is mm -hmm. it? I have something that okay. I I had done a, a long time ago that it was a, a transcribing a an interview with David Preston. Wow, that would be good to add that. I did I did send it to Doug at one point, and I thought he might want to use it, but but it was really interesting. Um, you know, it was yeah. it was a lot of good stuff from from David. I could find that if you want to put it in. Um, I don't know. That would be good. A, Charlie, or you, and or you could take a look. Yeah. So, so one more thing. Now that Paula's here, I'm reminded that the last time she was editing the recommended reading, and I think I don't know if I absolutely have the absolute latest version here, but like there's most of it's looking pretty good. But someone might want to check. There were a couple things like where are they on the technology thing? This, like, who are these people? You know, mm -hmm. I don't know if, if I can't if I can't find that based on that information, then probably the reader won't be able to find it either, and we could just remove it. So, 
Yeah, I oh. remember I was looking for the references to see if yeah. I could find them, and I couldn't. Yeah, so I know Gigi was the one who added those. Maybe she can introduce it. Um, but So maybe we could ask her. I mean, we've got a couple of weeks to work on it, so we could email her and just say, hey, could you check it? Um, but, you know, there's other... Most of it, the style looks fine, um, but that would be one fine one. Remember the, that we talked about doing all the references in the same like format, mm -hmm. like yeah. unifying everything. Yeah, I I think that would be really nice if someone wants to. I mean that 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 uh, that would be a bit of work, but yes, absolutely, they all look a bit weird and um, yeah. and right. another job. There are some jobs that could we could put out on the uh, Pyragogy in Action community. Totally. To, uh... Yeah. But I was looking for this this thing. So this we could work on now. Maybe we can make a, a, a page, a Google Doc. How much time do we have? Yeah, we've got a half hour left. I put the Preston thing on, up there, and I shared it with you and Charlie. Um... Oh, great. And I'll share it with Paula too. Thank you. Okay, Doc's home. <clears throat> All right, uh, I actually got I gotta run. So I got I got a early game to referee today, MLK day. Um, but it was very good. Glad everybody's here. Thanks for coming, Bradley. Um, Charlotte, that interview looks really cool. Uh, oh, good. That. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, uh, but yeah, Lisa, great video and everything, and um, so yeah, I look forward to watching the rest of this or um, read the notes or whatever. Um, so yeah, just let me know what um, tasks or whatever, and then we'll figure it out. Um, okay, yeah, we'll share some notes. I think there's 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 not terribly much left as we're, as we're saying. So no, yeah, it looks like you've done a great job getting it all up to this point. Um, yeah, and then Charlotte and I will work on that um, preface with our edition or whatever, and we can figure mm -hmm. out some of this stuff. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll set up a, Charlie, I'll set up a, a document, and then we can just hammer away at it. Yeah, we could just we could just make one, like, um, for, you know, Pyragogy uh, final pieces or something. I'll mm -hmm. make that and I'll make it public, and we'll put it into the... Oh, are you doing that now? Yeah, and then, well, yeah, getting the harness, trying to harness the Kiragaji in action community for reviewing or um, revisiting or whatever sounds like a really good idea, too. Um, mm -hmm. Whoever said that. Um, all right. Um, yeah, okay. Ciao, baby. Ciao. Bye. Okay, so uh, there's... Bye, Lisa. Bye. So there, there's this document that's, uh, yeah, kind of a summary of year three and... Maybe for context, I should put in year year two as well. But that the year three is year. Well, I could put both one and two. Um, <sighs> but those ones we're probably going to leave as is, unless we want to look back and change them. But this E three is what needs the um, Ipni one. I could probably update. Oh yeah, that's in like kind of in the motivation section, I think. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's not a lot of wild success to report, but there's some developments. Yeah, but I don't think, yeah, and I think development, developments are good, and updates mm -hmm. are interesting. Um, mm -hmm. Should I do it in the form of an update or completely rewrite it? I, well, you'll have, to, you'll have to have a look. I, I, think, uh, I think a short paragraph tacked at the end would be easier to do. Mm -hmm. Looks like I found a typo, so that's, that's one thing I've achieved. Thoughtful. <laughs> Um, don't change this. I will fix it. Or yeah, we can change it so it's spelled correctly. But there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I think this year three is like, what do we learn and what are we doing in year four if we're going to do year four? Uh, so are we kind of committing to updating a, a new version every year? Yeah, so far, so far that's been our trend. Although we we could say, look, we we could say, no, we're not going to do that. We're not going to commit to that so mm -hmm. far. Yet. Well, we have to commit basically now if we're going to do it because I really feel like we we should have uh, picked this up, you know, at least halfway through the year, if not before. So 
I yeah. really would. Yeah, it says here. It says here we decided we decided to focus on the handbook for the second half of the year, but that could be just a lie. <laughs> I don't know if that's really. <laughs> well, 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 I tried to get it going. You know, I tried to get these like eight sessions, and it was nobody showed up. No, there was not. You know, occasionally, and then different people. So it was really hard to. Yeah. And maybe that was my fault for you know the just the way I set it up, but. Um, well, I, I think that there's a lot of things that we could there's a lot of things we could change in the future, but I think most of those things would be like new things we've never tried before. So like like for example, this thing about using GitHub, you know, like I vaguely know how to use GitHub myself, but I certainly don't know how to set it up for this project. And I don't know mm -hmm. how that everyone else who doesn't know how to use it how to use it. So, you know, mm -hmm. like it would be an interesting thing to try, but that itself might not work because it could be you know, it could be too many, too much of a reach. Um, you know, there's other things like even just using the using the Puragaji in action Google group. Like I use that. I like posting stuff there. But you know, there have been times when it's been a more active discussion, and sometimes it just seems like when I'm posting, mm -hmm. I'm just posting stuff, and not, there's not that many people reading or responding, which is fine. I don't care. Um, maybe I should be posting it someplace else. Well, you know, we could just make this this Monday one the Puragaji handbook thing, and and just I mean, it's been going well, and since basically since I was you know, have not been here in the last month, so um, you know, it it seems like it's a great way to focus people, and you know, I don't know. Yeah, I mean the meetings are the meetings are good. Uh, that that seems to be a consistently good thing. And we could just pick a chapter and just say, you well, know, we're just you know review it this this time, and next time we're gonna you know work on the headlines or the links or the chapter by chapter. The content, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, no, in a way, go ahead. No, no, I think it's a good idea, like working chapter by chapter and and doing all the things that. We, Need to be done. Mm -hmm. And the sooner we start it, the better. I think you know, as soon as it's published, really. Yeah. That that was also somehow part of the idea of the Puragaji in action syllabus, which we didn't really include when we did the accelerator. But you know, um, it it says like each of the parts corresponds somehow to the the sections of the book. You know. Mm -hmm. um, so it could be. Turn camera off. No, I don't want to screen share again. Mm -mm. Do you have two uh, monitors? I usually do that with two monitors. No, just this. But um, here's a question for you, Joe. Yeah. What What is the tube stop between Cannon Street and Blackfriars? Cannon Street and Blackfriars. Blah. Uh, I don't know. Mansion House. Mansion House. Nice. <coughs> I'll have to go have a visit. I'm starting to learn the two from a little bit, but oh, yeah. But we don't we 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 collate the syllabus a bit with the parts of the handbook, but we don't really. But yeah, maybe we should just spend a whole year, you know, mm -hmm. revising it section by section. That would be a sensible. And w and we can take a chapter and you know like. You know how much we like to jump around on things, <laughs> and we we could do that. You know, because it will sort of trigger things that are, you know elsewhere in the book. I think when we go around, go chapter by chapter, and we That's can lot. then make it uh, more holistic. Yeah. Um, and we also talked about the drawings, because of course we put drawings now in the workbook, but the book is still the same. Pretty much, yeah. Yes. Well, and maybe that would be something we could do chapter by chapter. Would be everyone could add drawings, which would make it really fun. Like as we went through. Yeah, absolutely. We draw while we're w talking, or mm -hmm. you know, something, or after, or right after, or something. Yeah. yeah. I remember um, how much fun it was in Howard's courses to, you know, we'd just be drawing on the page, and magical stuff would happen. Cool. Yeah, and you guys are getting really good at drawing now that you have this Amanda. Mm. Yeah, so. I, I try. 
it's almost your, you can we can see the difference between yours and hers, but that's good. You know? yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you can. That's <laughs> not as a compliment, really. So you know, oh, special stuff. Um, mm-hmm. So, so there's that. But I, I think I think that the main failure, or just yeah, I would say failure thing that I didn't like about the accelerator is like I went up to Newcastle. You know, to present this thing, we had done all this work to make this building the pedagogy accelerator presentation, and then like we didn't get any new people. So that that's something I think we've mm-hmm. got to really rethink. Mm-hmm. Maybe Briley and Lisa, who are new people, could help us think about you know they're here now, and what would you what would you want to do? What what, what would it make what would make pedagogy more fun? Um, you know. As someone who hasn't been doing it for three years, but you know, thinks there's something interesting about it, what would you want to do? You know, it's like, because if it's just the same people doing things, mm-hmm. that's fine. But I think if we're failing, if we're not attracting new people, then I think even mm-hmm. the people doing it for a long time, maybe we'll just get a bit bored or whatever. Well, I think our one of our responsibilities as people who know this well is to look at like at our 900 people that are on the 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 Google Plus community and try and notice and in, in elsewhere but notice what, what they're talking about and kind of jump on that and say we have this book we'd like you to write something for it could you take this conference presentation and mm-hmm. you know I used to do this for a world trade magazine and um, kind of a industry thing and um, you know I, I would just call lawyers all the <laughs> international lawyers and just say you know, could you adapt this presentation you've already given? Yeah. And here's where, what the uh, focus is of our book, and you know, maybe pull out a few things either t- by talking to them or having them do it themselves. But, um, there's also a lot of stuff going on in the Boston area, and when the new book comes out, I really do want to get copies and uh, oh. you know, take them to some places. Yeah, my sister was just in Boston for a Cornell reunion. I'm like, Cornell isn't even in Boston, but whatever. There she well, is. that's you go actually go through Massachusetts t- to get to Northern New York, and you know you, that would make sense. Okay, but she's not even an alum. That's the other thing. None of this. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> maybe she's uh, attached to someone who is an alum. She, well, she's a, she's a about to be an alum. She's a senior. So. I, oh, I see. <laughs> But yeah, she's she's been in this alumni society since she started. So I don't know. I think she just like is a master fundraiser. We could ask her how do you how do you get people to contribute stuff? Yeah, they want to get their hooks into the potential contributors as soon as possible. Yeah, I think she's been hooked because she's yeah. Been so um, but yeah, so and apparently we have a pretty good translation in progress for French. This uh, what's her name has been getting in touch about. Uh, you mean Korean or French? I think it's French. In the woman in Chicago? No. I don't think oh, so. No. Let's see. Plus, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I'll look. Charlie's friend? No, it was a different one. Not not her. It was a different Elaine, I thought. It, no, it's Elvira Bornand. If that name's not French, I'll eat my hat. Or both of them. I'll eat both of them. Ah. <laughs> LV born Nan, yeah. So. And then uh, any word from Charlie's friend for the Korean? Not about that. She said something else online. Um, um, I think that would be pretty cool. Paula, is there anything going on in Spanish? or? But no, I couldn't finish the second version, so... What I was uh, saying the last time is that maybe I can translate the workbook that is very mm-hmm. short and easy just to yeah. mm-hmm. have those, uh, at least those versions ready. Do you, do you feel like it, um, kind of coordinating with the other translations and just get, making yeah, sure you that know, they... We've, yeah, we've tried to like coordinate efforts with people because... Um, some you remember we had some volunteers, but when I spoke to them, like 
I think that we need a better way to organize the translation. I'm just yeah. thinking that, you know, don't make it too complicated, but just like making sure they have the latest version or, or whatever. Um, yeah. You know, rather than tracking every single chapter and where they are and even just like kind of make more of a more of a uh, uh, ambassadorial thing, you know, just kind of touching base and keeping them interested or seeing if they're not interested. I mean, it seems like that would be a good... Yeah, I, I think I think so far the evidence is like just translating it is not enough to get people involved. Like, no, the no. Problem, the same no. problem is true in English, actually. is like <laughs> even like having the book is not enough. Once it's translated into their English, you don't need to translate it, but people are still not using it. And so uh -huh. I think if we could be like, look, here's how you use it, and then the people who speak, say, only Spanish would say, oh, we'd like to do that, but we can't actually read it unless you translate it. We'd say, okay, you'll help us translate it, and then you can mm -hmm. use it. And say, okay, then maybe, but we don't. We can't even do that in English. So I think translation is like gonna have to be put off till we crack that one with with users. Like, and and I, I don't know. I'm <clears throat> I'm not a I'm not a teacher, but you you were in this panel, Charlotte, with what's her name, the uh, mm -hmm. uh, Lee Scalarup Bassett. I don't mind saying her name in full in case she's watching. Hello, Lee. Um, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> she is like, look, I'm a teacher. And I was like, well, okay, could you use this with your students? And she said, oh, well, actually, I don't have students. I teach teachers. And I'm like, well, okay, <laughs> the, the question still applies, actually. <laughs> teachers are not students, damn it. <laughs> yeah, could you use this with your students who are also teachers? And she seemed to say yes, actually. Yeah. I didn't. I don't think I came across as the best salesperson because I was arguing with her. But you know, <laughs> um, but maybe someone else in another situation with another person could make a better impression, and we might see someone you know using this for teacher training, and that would be yes, 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 really yes. Really cool. They just don't know what a pussycat you are. They don't know. I should have had my nicer hat, and I should have yeah, offered, you, yeah. offered her a mint. Look. Now, Paula, <laughs> is, this hat, is this hat too warm for Mexico? Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> it's wonderful. I can make one with more holes in it if you want. <laughs> Hold on, Mexico. I'll, make, I'll make another one, and then you can just choose between them. Thank you. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Mm, I don't have a favorite color. I like all colors. <laughs> Bright <laughs> colors. Bright <laughs> colors. Yeah, she tends to make it very colorful. So, like jewel colors, I, I imagine. <laughs> um, okay, well, I think I probably need to get going as well. Um, okay. Do we What's have more to say? No, there's there's a big list of things that we could think about. Yeah, so this has a great been a great meeting because we've got a list of things to resolve in the next ten or fifteen days, and a list of other things to think about. So I don't think we'll resolve all the big things in the next fifteen days. Mm -hmm. um, I would I would say maybe um, if if uh, Lisa and Briley, who haven't said much in this meeting, want to weigh in by email or just think about it later, you know, we can, I'd love to take on some of these technical things um, and redo the website, we, especially with some help. So, you know, mm -hmm. I think, yes, as you guys know, I don't have a ton of time to do a lot of stuff, so I've basically committed to do the technical typesetting, which I think I'm the only one who knows how to do right now, and then obviously I want to teach other people how to do it. And some people, I think like Dorotea, could totally do it. She just doesn't know what I do, and other everyone else could do this too, so I just need to well, no, when you're know. doing it, uh, you could invite uh, for a screen share, and I'd be happy to to you know. And then yeah, I you know. I think we're not no no one's far off, but I also think we need to, to to think about the workflows. And so, like you know, maybe the way we're doing it is not even the best way. There could be a way that would be absolutely much simpler for updating the book and the website. You know, um, and and it you know yeah. We need to talk about it, but we're not going to resolve it all in the next ten days. So for now, yeah, I think just look at this final pieces mm -hmm. thing. I can paste the chat in there. I'll I'll stop with that. Okay. I'll paste that in there, and maybe I'll send it around by. So email. you got the chat. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm pasting it into the bottom of this, just as a. Oh as a great. Of this. Um,
Yeah, and uh, I'll send it around by email. Our, um, uh, Lisa and brother, are you both on the Purigaji mailing list? Otherwise, I can CC you on something if, if you want to. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. And I'm not so, sure. Uh, Lisa, I can I can check and I can see if I can add you. Otherwise, if that's okay, if I have your permission, I think you'll have to approve it anyway. But I'll add and we you. have that uh, private group, you know, on Google Plus. But maybe oh yeah, the private one, right? Not maybe that's not as something that people use. I don't know. Um, I saw three updates on it. Oh. So, but probably yeah. me. <laughs> so, uh, Paula, you're definitely going to this Wikimania 2015 because it's in Mexico City. That's you. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. This time I will be here. Yes. So we cool. should help you with a submission if if there's something we can help with. Um, well, I was thinking that maybe we can do something together to. I I want to see you somewhere. Yeah. Well, I'll be in, I'll be I want in, to meet you somewhere. That I mean, I'll be in. I'll be in. When is this? It's Ju June or July. July, right? July, July fifteenth. Yeah, so I'll be in Utah until July first or something. So it seems totally possible that I could hang out for another two weeks, and then come to Mexico after. So I'll add it into my possible likely calendar. Yeah, I'd love to t to do it. I'm I'm just I'm actually going to Austin in March. Well, you'd have a little longer to hang out, but I would. Yeah. <laughs> March till June? No, till July. <laughs> um, Austin's pretty nice. Maybe you'll say, "Oh, I want to stay." But anyway, yeah. um, okay. So I, I've pasted that. Um, I think that's good enough for now. But um, yeah, we'll be in touch by email if that's if that's good. Is that good for you? Thanks, guys. Yeah. I'm I know. Really behind yeah. on a lot of stuff, so it's going to take me. I've kind of been a little quiet because I have to dig out, and I'm sure. not quite sure how long it's going to take me um, to dig out. So I don't want to commit yet to anything. Like That's whatever. fine. That's it's fine. Time. We just love having your, you know, brain on board. <laughs> yeah. And. Um, I think the other thing is, um, yeah, we, we like those videos, so I think we'll re already that's a contribution because we can revise the workbook, like looking at the video to make sure. Yes, that's great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was pretty cool. And I think um, the other one, I also, yeah, Charlie and I were both both liking that, like uh, the different ways of thinking about structures of organization was pretty cool. And like, eventually, it would be good to have a chapter about that in the handbook. Yeah, yeah. Or at least With didn't uh, Lisa? Didn't you write something for this version? Or? I no, I don't think so. I might have oh. done something or something like that. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. Suggestions, but okay. um, I don't know that I've written anything. Right. If I did, okay. it was like a fast thing, and I was off. <laughs> in your sleep. <laughs> Boom! Done. <laughs> You're so smart. You can write in your sleep. <laughs> no, just get it done and move on to something else. I might have. Right. Okay, yeah. well, I'm not going to check out. Okay, so um, I'm going to get back so to my knitting. Where are we going to? Where are we going to do the uh, the new editions for the version? So, three? so what my suggestion, is, just as you were arriving, was this this Puragaji version three final pieces. Are you on there as either a koala or a sh anonymous shrew or some uh -huh. other? Shrew? <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think of her more as a koala. Okay, well, let's assume you're the koala, and uh, <laughs> you've got the right ears for it, anyway. Yeah. Um, so, um, okay, so so I would say the main thing to do is look at the PDF. So I'll okay. make sure the link to the PDF is on that document, and then like, mm, you know, I'll I will dra drag out of the chat like a to do list on there, and then we can just put the texts into this document, and that will save any kind of technical. Concerns, you know what I mean. So we don't have to learn yes. any major new technologies in, in two weeks. But okay, uh, yeah, okay. So that's where. Okay, good. Great. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Thanks, See yeah. you. See you next Monday. Yep. Bye. Bye. Thank you.